The power of The Shed is that it is a commissioning center, so we start with an artist and their idea, and we support them to make that idea a reality. Artists are the antibodies of culture because the artists go into where they live in the state of their time and look for toxins and dangers where they're living and address those. The exhibition manual override features Lynn Hirschman Leeson, Morrison Aliari, Sandra Perry, Martine Sims, and Simon Fujiwara. The title refers to the moment in 80s action films when a piece of technology has gone awry and a lever or a red button appears in which someone can come in, stop the system, and save the day. And so my work as a critic working within technology and with artists who use software, I've really found in the last 10 years in conversations that there is no button, there is no lever. Technology that we use is often unseen it's working beyond us. And so the artists that are gathered in Manual Override all make a practice of critique of technology and help us understand how we can intervene, override, or step into the technological systems that dominate our time. The format of the exhibition focuses on the work of Lynn Hirschman Leeson, whose electronic diaries form the kind of central plaza or spine of the exhibition. I do artwork that bridges uh science and technology and try to explore issues of our time and issues that use the technology of our time. So the electronic diaries derived from just my trying to teach myself how to use a camera. It was me talking directly to this cycloptic eye that became almost a therapist for what had gone on in my background. And this revealed for me many traumas that I experienced, but I was just one person that became kind of a cell of a culture. And many people experienced the same thing, I found out, after these pieces were shown. So I continued to do the diaries because I found them helpful to me and also because they related to a lot of people. Around Lynn's work, are four other artists of a younger generation who work with themes that she's been exploring for almost 40 years and are in conversation with them. Martine Sims's Shame Space Mythic Beam is a kind of fictional rendition of a studio or an artist's studio in which visitors can text with the artist's imagining of a shadow self in which they can participate in about 200 hours of conversation. And outside on the acrylics of the piece, you see a kind of risk modeling, which companies usually do to identify vulnerabilities. And so there's a kind of fictional risk model for an individual. It's an intentionally frustrating piece in which you don't have a conversation that's really two-way. And there's commentary there on how we expect kind of immediate reactivity to technology. What Nora Khan and Lynn and all of those artists have done in this show, Manual Override, is really to take their artistic practice and intersect that with their interest in issues around technology and how an artwork can be born from that interdisciplinary look. One of the central conceits of the show is how we are all coded. So literally coded through technology, coded through our genetic legacies, coded through culture and social systems around us. And so my hope is that each of the works, the new commissions and the old, help people come to a space in which they understand that if we are coded, then there's also potential for recoding, reworking and rewriting our codes. I think that uh, now the tools are of our time for artists are the things that are invented in our time, like the issues of our time. Technology is the tools, the paintbrush is the way that we see things for today. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.